The design revolution that happened in the 1950s and 1960s with clean lines and a contemporary aesthetic were revolutionary and changed interior design forever into a style that's now called mid-century. And over 60 years later, the innovations of that era are still inspiring modern design today. Kelly. Yes. Here we are in Palm Springs. So excited. You're on my turf. I am. Here in the hotbed of mid-century modern architecture, talking all things mid-mod and how this style still influences all of us as designers to yep. this day, right? Absolutely. And you don't get much more mid-century than this 1960 ranch house of TV star Jack Webb. Sergeant Joe Friday. That Jack Webb. Wow. Probably the biggest TV star of the 1950s. Yes at the height of his fame Love as it. his retreat from Hollywood. I cannot wait to see this. Let's go inside. All right, let's do All it. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the home of Dragonet star Jack Webb. Gorgeous, what a nice way to enter, right? Yeah, you gotta start in the entry of the home, create yeah. that moment, set the feeling Love it. for the house, yeah. and the starburst mirror sets Iconic. this house firmly in 1960, right? Oh my gosh, it's so great. The sunburst. Right, Love AKA that. AKA starburst, we don't discriminate. Sun, star, <laughs> all things celestial. Yeah. It's associated with mid-century design, but it actually goes back to Louis XIV, right. the sun king in the 17th century. Right. He wanted to make himself celestial. Who heavenly. doesn't? I mean, we all do. <laughs> but he had the ability to. And right. then moved it right through. years later, mm -hmm. moved it right through, and it became popular again in the 1950s and 60s in all sorts of materials. Right. So now we see it modern. Brass. Yes. Chrome. Right. We have with the dots and kind of get like, you know, even more geometric and gooey. In the so now we see it, well, not just in our mirrors. No. Right? Lighting. Lighting, furniture, we'll mm -hmm. see it in applique, right. on case goods, dressers. Right. Tabletop, the symbol, the sun is always gonna be popular. Of course. It gives us life. I love this, but I really gotta check out the rest of the house. Come on, let's right. go. <laughs> Right, so yes. so formal dining was certainly a part of mid-century when families sat down to dinner together. It was expected that kids ate what was served to them and they could ride their bikes until Remember sundown. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Oh, I did too. So these, this was the heart of the home. But you know the difference I think in seeing the evolution of dining, to your point, is you went from something that was uncomfortable mm -hmm. to something pretty, something soft, something you want to sit in for a while. People think of mid-century as being a lot of technology and fiberglass and plastic, and I do love that part too, but he was a celebrity. I don't think that Jack Webb necessarily <laughs> would have been sitting no. on the plastic technology of the day. He would no. have been more old school, you know. A thousand Sergeant percent. Joe Friday would have wanted some comfort. And is this color mid-century or what? I <laughs> love chartreuse, yes? Absolutely. Yes. It's so iconic. It's funny because even if you ask somebody who doesn't know anything about mid-century modern, what colors do you think of when you think of 50s? Olive, a chartreuse, this yeah. green, very popular, new dyes, new technologies, all coming into play to make these colors that are now iconic of the era. Modern. And modern. This is something that I have used today, but still melded with the real clean lines. Yes. Feels very modern. It's beautiful. I mean. Really? Right. I can't get away from this. <laughs> this it light is. It's beautiful. It was, beautiful. yes, hand blown in France. Of course. And it also, to me, represents the best of the era. You might have seen it in the Vistosi light fixtures of the time, right. all that hand blown glass that was popular. And I love how we bring this to modern day because you could walk into a bar right now 
uh, any formal, yes. beautiful restaurant, and you're yes. going to see a light fixture very similar probably to this. Probably in glass, probably yeah. with chrome. And of course, you can see this now with an Edison bulb on the end of it, and it would be too completely modern. Exactly. Right? Every hotel in America. Today. Every hotel in America <laughs> slash coffee shop. Give it an Edison bulb, and you're good to go. Right. But it really started back in the day. I love it. So good. <laughs> Let's see the rest of that. Okay, I'm freaking out. Wow. The formal wow. living room. I love this How so much. How fun springs is this? Does it make you want a cocktail? It does. <laughs> Job well done, it is Palm Springs after all. Iconic, iconic, because it's the scale, right? It's a pretty grand room, it was mm -hmm. built for a celebrity, but it's pretty typical by today's standards. And these tables are stunning, I really love those. This, the walnut, of course, takes us back right. to the mid-century era. Such a popular Beautiful. species of the time. Which yeah. I love, but you know we're doing it now. I know that I'm adding wood oh, back yeah. in now because we're trying to wrap up and sort of like unplug they probably were then too. They thought they were space agey <laughs> and super technology driven and nothing like we are now. Right. And we're doing the same thing. Yeah. We're adding woods and nature back yeah. in. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you for coming to Palm Springs. Oh my gosh, are you <laughs> kidding me? I would miss this for the world. A celebrity's home? And speaking of celebrity homes, I have a treat for you next time. What? I'm mean, gonna have to save that for now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. For now, I think our martinis are calling. That's what we're saying. We need to go get that. Let's go get it.